Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I have a new hack for you, a new learning tool that has been tried and tested. Absolutely amazing when it comes to teaching children and adults the Arabic language and many other languages that are currently offered as well. So here we have the free printable Arabic flashcards that come in both the letters and the numbers. And I think they have also other languages as well besides English. They have a Japanese and a few others as well. We'll check them out together. So I was really happy to find these printables. I actually found them first through a sister's uh, YouTube channel and she featured these printables on her channel. I will link her video in the description box below if you guys want to try them out. So first of all, I'll show you how I got these, but... Uh, they're simple, they're easy, they're uh, free. All you will need is a printer or maybe you can print them in the library or in whatever print shop is easier and more better for you. Uh, and you would also need to laminate them. I would highly recommend you laminate these so you can make them last longer. And also they would be so much easier to use as well. So here we've got the overview of the Arabic language. And uh, these are the alphabet with the way you pronounce them in English as well. So I thought to print that out as a layout and something to overview uh, along with the cards. So I printed it and laminated it. And then this is the cards, as you can see. So this is one A4 sheet and this is how big they are. And I love how they made it to be... Uh, very big and quite clear for kids to see and I'm thinking of going over it with a permanent red marker just because if you've read the uh, the learning uh, books and many other uh, principles of learning especially for kids and stuff they do recommend using a red marker for small children in order for uh, it to grab the attention of children and to ease the learning process and it helps them to learn faster as well so I'll be really interested to try that out but right now I'll keep them as it is and then maybe I'll you know, go ahead with the red marker, but we'll see. So yes, very big size, as you can see right here. We've got the whole Arabic alphabet. Then again, we have the shapes as well. Now the shapes are in English and they do have other um, things as well besides the shapes and the numbers. So we'll have a look at that together as well. So I did go ahead and I uh, printed the Arabic numbers as well. So here's the overview from zero up to 10. And then these are the flashcards. So I can use it as it is, or I can cut each flashcard. And they also have a, a way to make a DIY uh, little storage pocket for the flashcards. So I love how these turned out, as you could see. And they have an upcoming app, so you might want to sign up for their app and you'll be informed when it will become available. In order to access the flashcards, you would need to go on totcards.com. Very little spelling error right here. So totcards.com, and this is the website. So I signed up for their uh, upcoming app to get early free access. And then this is the printables that they have to offer. And this is some examples. So they have uh, uh, the alphabet, the numbers, the shapes, the colors, the time, months and seasons, as well as the money flashcards. Now, as far as Arabic goes, there is um, the Arabic alphabet and the Arabic numbers. And there's also Bengali as well. And I think I did see uh, the uh, Japanese somewhere else. So here I've clicked on the Arabic flashcards, download flashcards. They'll come up. And then you have also the English flashcards of just the way to pronounce it. So for example here, I prefer using the English and the Arabic. So I'm going to go ahead and the uh, file opens up right here, ready to go, ready to print out. And even they have even the marker where you can just cut it for easier access. So I love these and I'll also be giving the English flashcards a, a chance as well especially when it comes to the seasons and the month and I also love the color coding and just illustrations in general so if you get the chance give these a try 
and even with the uh, words only you can use them for spelling as well for all the kids so I hope you enjoyed this video do let me know this is a fabulous free printable learning experience great for people who are homeschooling great for people who um, want to encourage bilingual education for children as well as encourage language um, improvement as well so if you're new to the channel and you enjoyed the content subscribe support the channel we'd love to have you on board take care and have a great day bye bye